What I'm about to tell you in the next few minutes will make you think. When I was a kid, my mom always told me that you need to have milk because milk gives you strong bones. It has a lot of calcium, protein and tons of nutrients in it. I'm sure you've all heard the same. But the question here really is, is that does milk give you strong bones? And the answer is no. The truth is that milk removes calcium from your bones. Yes, you've heard it right. So let me explain. Calcium is an important mineral that keeps your bones strong. When you consume milk, the animal proteins in it produce acid. And to flush those acids out of your system, your body needs calcium, which it takes from the milk it contains and the rest from your bones, turning them into ash. Harvard studies show that milk has no protective effect on your bones and people who consume more than two and a half servings of milk products per day suffer from weaker bones than those who do not and also they live shorter lives. In fact, the countries that consume the most milk suffer the most from hip fractures, knee pain, arthritis and other bone related issues. Did you know that 65% of the world is lactose intolerant with 90% Asians and 75% African Americans? Then why do we drink milk? The answer is simple. Milk and milk products are advertised to us so well since decades that the dairy industry has made us believe it is good for us and milk is the only source of calcium. Got milk? In adults, apart from making your bones weak, it causes acne, tooth decay, bloating, constipation and a list of other issues including prostate and breast cancer. Remember that no human adult requires milk. But since adults are difficult to target, that's where they target kids. Convincing them with ads that make them feel that they need milk to be strong. Makes you big, makes you strong. Good for teeth and bones and hair. Milk's got calcium, don't you know? Young kids that drink milk after weaning are ingesting enormous doses of pesticides, hormones and antibiotics which are thousand times higher than cola. So if you are worried about your kids, well they don't need milk and neither do your pets. Listen, I'm not telling you to stop drinking milk immediately, but you can start slow. And if you're wondering where can I get my calcium intake from? then don't. There are many milk alternatives and sources that are higher in calcium, which your body will thank you for and so will the environment. And since you know the truth, I hope you make better choices. So next time when you're having your favorite ice cream, chocolate milk, yogurt or cheese, or the next time you have your favorite coffee, tea or that bowl of cereal, think again.